Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Santoshi Nandigam, Consultant Obstetrician and Gynecologist, Cadence Hospital, Skotum Barkham, Chennai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've been following me uh, in my previous videos, I uh, was talking a lot about the different stages of labor. I have spoken about the latent phase of labor, I've spoken about the early phase of labor, and then comes the active phase of labor. Active phase of labor, Anna, in Active phase of labor is from 6 centimeters of cervical dilatation to full dilatation of the cervix. So, if you want a recap of what I spoke before, latent phase of labor la contractions varu, but garbapai vaila perisa changes unu irkada. Contractions romba irregular varu. Then comes the early phase of labor where you start getting frequent contractions which are you know high in intensity as well as duration but your cervix is starting to dilate and efface. Then comes the active stage of labor which is from 6 centimeters of cervical dilatation to 10 centimeters of cervical dilatation. So how long can an active phase of labor last? I know the women are completely furious with the fact that latent phase of labor and early phase of labor are actually quite long. There is no certain definition to how long these two phases can last. They can last anywhere between hours to days. But the best part about active phase of labor is that it is completely timed. You are going to meet your baby in the next couple of hours because Ideally, once you enter the active stage of labor, your cervix should dilate at the rate of 1 centimeter per hour. So, if you're 6 centimeters, by the time you walk into the hospital, you should probably dilate completely in the next 4 to 5 hours. And uh, after that, you enter into what is called as the second stage of labor. Follow for more.